Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Well, here we are with Little Red. She's got three so far. Today's Wednesday, so she's one day over. But three on the ground so far. So we can see Little Red's got three live piggies here so far and she's starting to go into some pretty hard labor. So there should be another pig showing up here any second. She's pushing hard. Yep, here it comes. And there's a pig. Now the mother doesn't do anything to help this little pig out. The, the pigs are on their own once they're born. They need to work their way around to the teats so they can get some milk. And while they're doing that, they, it helps clean off the mucus from their body. And it also stretches and breaks the umbilical cord. It's really tempting to want to intervene here and help this little pig out, put it in the right spot. But that's not how God intended it. It's all part of the process, them finding their way around to where they need to be, stretching and breaking the umbilical cord. It's all how God designed it, and when we interfere when there's really no need to, it can mess things up. So I'm just going to leave this pig alone and let it find its way. So here we are the next morning and I just came out to check on the pigs and she had had seven yesterday afternoon and when I came back out this morning unfortunately I found one that was dead. It was a big healthy looking pig so it didn't look like it had been stepped on. I guess the only thing is maybe she accidentally laid on it during the night at some point but we have six healthy pigs here and Everything's looking good. Now over here is a whole another pile of pigs. We've got Blondie's pigs. She had 10 pigs and one of those did get stepped on and killed. So now she's down to nine. And now there's another little one there that's got an injured leg. Looks like it got stepped on as well. But she still has nine live pigs. And then of course we've got Bossy's pigs mixed in here with them and then over here is the rest of her pigs all snuggled up and bossy and blondie are over eating right now i just finished feeding them but overall we're doing pretty good so each one of them has lost one pig but we've got six nine fifteen and eight is 23 live piggies on the ground so far and then i've fenced her off to keep the other pigs out. It's sad to lose any pigs or any animals for that matter, but we still have a lot of live ones. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.